Hi, everybody. Welcome to City Skylines. We did it. We've done it. Well, I say we've di we did it and we've done it. We haven't really done anything. Um, I have early access to this game and apparently the go-ahead to start playing it and recording it and stuff. So, no problem. I mean, I have been playing it quite a bit in my spare time. Um, but uh, it's fine for me to start recording now. The game isn't actually out until the 10th of March. Uh, so if you're looking forward to it, um, I would say you should. It's really fun. It's a really great game. Uh, it's everything that SimCity should have been and more. And apparently there's going to be lots of mod support and stuff as well. Excellent. Um, a lot of people were saying, oh, you know, don't start doing a playthrough of this game uh, until it, it's actually out, just in case you lose your save or, or whatever. I mean, if I lose the save, it's fine. I, I, I don't mind restarting. I I don't know if you guys mind me restarting or whatever, but I figure let's let's start it. We'll take a look at it, see, see what there is. And if I do lose the save when the game is actually released, which I don't think I will, but you never know. Um, if I do lose it, uh, we'll we'll just start again, and we'll hopefully learn from our mistakes and, and stuff like that. But it'll be fine. It'll be absolutely fine. So let us start a new game. I can't continue the old game that I did with an evening with Sips because it was on a different version. Uh, so we're gonna have to start a new game uh, from scratch. But this will be the one, and then hopefully in a in a couple of days when the game is released, we won't have to restart. But and then that'll be the one. If we have to restart, it'll be fine. New game. All right, Green Plains, ri River Run, No Blackwoods, Islands, Shitty Strands, Two Rivers, Sandy Beach, Diamond Coast. Mmm, Diamond Coast looks nice. Look at that. It's just like a flat plains. Left side traffic, no. Lakedale, Diamond Coast, right? Is everybody feeling Diamond Coast? Because I am definitely feeling Diamond Coast. Um, fine. Diamond Coast. Let's call it the Sipsco Coast. Uh, so that we re retain the word coast in there somewhere. I feel like that's maybe important. Diamond Coast has been renamed to the Sipsco Coast. The best coast in the world, the host of the coast himself, uh, me, uh, is going to be uh, playing City Skylines on Sipsco Coast. Start. We can do it. Oh, it's loading. Now, I've turned music off in the game, not because I hate the music in the game, uh, but sometimes uh, when I play games at length, I tend to turn the music off. So you'll probably notice that Either there's no music, or if I've been feeling uh, especially saucy recently, there might be some kind of stock music that I've, like, sort of edited in after, like, put in. But either way, uh, it shouldn't really matter. Okay, here we go. Sipco Coast, look at this. What a snazzy place. Look, we've got, like, this uh, river outlet here. It's like like an estuary. Is that what is that is that what an estuary is? I might be wrong about that. Uh, we need to start. Um, oh my god, look at that boat in the distance. Look at I've never actually seen a boat in this game. Oh, I can click on it. What's it doing? Oh, it's transporting passengers to Rock Valley. It's a cruise ship with 53 people on board. Can you imagine that? That I bet you that is a fucking fantastic cruise. Very exclusive. Very premium. Only 53 people on there. Amazing. All right, so we start uh, humbly in on the Sipsco coast with nothing except for roads so once again we have to start from scratch and we once again have to build one bit of road and delete it because this is not the road that we want here and it opens up the rest of the roads same as last time <laughs> exact same as last time nothing's changed in that sense all right uh as we get into uh Sipsco coast or well whatever well it is called Sipsco coast so this will be the um start of Sipsco coast uh, and then we can have some regions or whatever. Let us have a roundabout. Uh, roundabouts, of course, are used extensively in Europe as a way to keep uh, traffic flowing. Uh, this is a little bit of a history lesson for you on a subject that I have no fucking idea about whatsoever. Um, so um, roundabouts, I'm sure, probably used in other parts of the world, but I always just assume that they're only used in Europe and maybe uh, not. So I can just, like, um, right-click to, like, you know, move it around and stuff like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to place the roundabout here, like so. Uh, and then we're going to get the uh, 
old killdozer in to actually remove all the spikes of the roundabout so that we can customize it. Look at this. Now we have like a nice round road. Fucking fantastic. And we're going to make some one-way roads uh, and connect it up like so. So we have uh, an in and, well, let's try to have it like, there we go, and out. There we go. So anyone coming in to Sipsco Coast now will be able to uh, travel on the magical roundabout of Glee. Look at that. They can come down, they can come into the city, see following the mouse cursor, they can come down here. They could do the rounds, and then they could get uh, the fuck out, because there's nothing in this city right now, and uh, nobody really wants to come to it. We're going to change that, though. Great. Two-way roads? Hell yeah. Uh, let us have our first branch off of the roundabout, and it'll come like uh, this, I guess. Uh, it could come out to here. Uh, I, we're going to have, like... I want to do something like a bit different instead of just having like a huge grid city because we have so much space and we'll open up more space Look at this fucker. Holy shit um, Let's make let's like have like a lot of small little like sort of towns and then uh, we can have like uh, Over our bypasses and, and stuff like that like where I grew up I grew up in uh, in a place called Orleans, which is like the suburbs of Ottawa, which is like the um, capital of all of Canada um, so in Orleans, you had like Orleans and then you had a couple of like crappy little places like in between, like a place called Convent Glen and uh, Blackburn Hamlet. And these were all like sort of like little shit like Gloucester, all sort of like shitty little sort of like districts or towns uh, on the way into uh, the great city of Ottawa. And there was like lots of like countryside that you just randomly like drove in to, to get to these places and stuff. And then you met, you managed to get to the highway, get on the highway and then into the city. I want to have something like that. So let's like make so like the equivalent of uh, Blackburn Hamlet, for example, which is crappy. It's just going to have one grocery store in it and maybe some factories and houses, but it's going to be small and crappy. And basically, we're going to have it like, oh, actually, let's go for the, let's go for the curves. Look, here we go. We're going to go for a nice curve. And this is going to lead us into here. And then we can like connect it up to like this side. Like once we open all this crap up over here, it can go down into there too. But for now, we'll just have it like extend down into here. Uh, we'll have a uh, an intersection because little little towns sort of live off of intersections, don't they? It's like uh, Main Street USA. Look, we'll have like an intersection here, and then at the center of the intersection, we will have uh, some commercial buildings. Look at this. We're gonna really take our time with this. We're gonna have some rip roaring commercial buildings right at the center. We'll have like Pop's old donut shop, and then across the street we'll have like the uh, post office and then on this street we'll have uh, some sort of like u-shaped donut shop again i guess and then another like l tetra shaped don't basically we're just going to call this donutsville and all it's going to have is tons of donut shops i think okay uh let's get some residential too I mean, we can go like full hog and just have like, you know, grids and, and stuff everywhere. But like, I don't know. I think it's kind of fun to actually have sort of like separate houses. And so we'll have houses down here. We'll also have some houses down here. We'll co connect it all up with services and stuff in a minute. Uh, let's have some houses here and we'll just see how we go. And I mean, if we need to like tear it all down, I mean, we can. We can tear down Donutsville and um, we can just like, I don't know kill everybody that lives in Donutsville and build it up from scratch again because why not right that's the joy uh, that you get from playing these kind of games because you're like some sort of god and you can do whatever the heck you like excellent okay uh let us power Donutsville with uh the power of wind shall we let's put it in here look at this it's gonna if we build it here it's gonna um produce seven megawatts is that megawatts or is it some other turn? I don't know. But look, see, if we move it here, six, four. We well, don't want to build it anywhere here. Uh, but also, these things make a lot of noise. And look at the noise radius. We don't want anybody getting, like, too pissed off about the noise. So let's build it out here in the middle of nowhere. We don't need to give it, like, any, like, road access or anything because it's just going to sit out here. But we will uh, extend some power lines to Donutsville here. Give it some power. Um... 
and in typical North American town fashion, uh, I don't know if you've ever been to North America before, uh, but most small towns have a water tower. And mostly those water towers have the name of the town on it. So in this case, we can't actually do it. Uh, but we're gonna place uh, the water tower here so that when people enter the city and they look at the skyline of the city uh, because this game is actually called City Skylines um, they're going to see a big water tower with the word Donutsville on it. F fucking fantastic. It's like the stuff of dreams. Great. Okay, we'll connect it all up and we should be good. Can I actually name it? Water tower? Donutsville. We'll call it Donutsville. Donutsville. <laughs> you can't. Water tower. Here we go. It's the Donutsville water tower and it's in full effect. It doesn't say Donutsville water tower on there, but let's just pretend that it says Donutsville on the water tower. And when you drive into Donutsville from the roundabout, this super magical roundabout here, look at, we can do like the role play, look. We can, we can shoot like a, uh, I don't know, like a holiday. What is this? What is this? Is that a piece of, oh, it's a sign. Oh, it's a sign. Look, okay. So as you're coming in, there's a sign here that says, <laughs> welcome to Donutsville. Free donuts for your first visit. And then you're like, holy shit. And then you keep driving. And sadly, there's a tree in the way. Oh no, it's it's attached to a house. Okay, so you have to get to this point here before you really appreciate uh, the full extent of Donutsville. But holy shit, look at that. It's got a water tower, Donutsville on it, a couple of houses. All these houses stink because uh, there's no sewage um, system set up yet. But we're, we're going to get on it. We're going to set up the sewage system like right now. Uh, we might need to power the sewage system separately. Oh, crap. Also, because we're like in an estuary here, this whole place is going to get like really polluted to hell. So we might need to grab some fresh water upriver. This is a bad place to start, actually, I feel, but uh, we should be okay. All right, new zone available. We don't need that. We do need a water drain pipe, which actually in layman's terms is a shit pipe where all the shit comes out. Excellent. So, um, we're gonna hook up our shit pipe to our fresh water pipe uh, so that the shit and the fresh water can share the same pipe. I don't get how that works, uh, but apparently it just does work. Great, and let's power the shit pipe with its own turbine at the um, hefty cost of 6,000 smackers. There you go. The official currency for um, City Skylines, of course, is smackaronis, as you can see here. Because who knows what that symbol even means? Not me. It must be smackaronis. Okay, great. So, we have power. We now have sewage. Look at that. In the distance, we have another wind turbine. It's like some sort of mystery wind turbine. All the uh, people who live in Donutsville are like, we're the only people on Earth. And who built that wind turbine over there? <gasps> And this guy on the bike is going to go find out, maybe. Or possibly deliver pizzas. Oh, look at him go. Where's he going? Hey, where are you off to? You, uh... Oh, yeah. He's, uh... <laughs> oh, I see. He's joyriding. Where the f... Oh, no, he's not. Okay. For shame. Oh, no, I guess, well, he's... These people have to because, look, there's no driveway. But still, fuck you guys. Uh, fuck anyone who leaves their car on the side of the road like that. It's, it's so disruptive. It makes driving impossible. All right, great. Uh, okay, there is a massive demand for, uh, very high demand, sorry, not massive, for industry or offices. Uh, of course, we can't make offices yet because you have to unlock it, so it's going to have to be industry. Um, so, let us expand Donutsville ever so slightly um, so that we can actually um, build some places for these chumps to work at. Because there's only, like, the population is 158 people. Like, <laughs> But they need a job still, somehow. How do we... Oh God. Okay. It's going to be like a bit of a crappy turn. But actually, this might work. Eh, it doesn't look too bad. Okay, we'll put the uh, straights on then, uh, so that we can go straight down here. And, uh, man, look at fucking donuts. It looks fantastic. Uh, it's... Well, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it looks like we've sort of made a dick and balls here as well. <laughs> and I guess like some sort of like off-course... Um, line of 
P or Jism leading into Donutsville. Whatever, it's fine. It doesn't even look like that. It's only because I mentioned it. Nobody else would have picked up on it, but uh, although it does look like, it looks like pretzel balls actually. Now ah, well, it'll be fine. Okay, so in the trees here, we got a lot of trees uh, over here, which is nice. Uh, we can set up so the start of uh, what'll be some sort of industrial uh, mega complex or whatever. It's gonna get pretty polluted out here, but that's okay. We're far enough away from civilization, hopefully, so that it won't matter. Let's fill this whole area with um, industry. It'll be nice. And let us also increase the speed slightly because it's going very slow. I mean, it's nice to start off slow, but then once the city starts getting bigger, you just want it on full speed so that everything builds really fast and you start sweating and listening to death metal and like making grids because you've like, you're sick of designing your city and stuff. So it's all grids. Uh, and then you get like the airport and then you're just making so much money. You don't even know what to do with all of it. And then you just stop playing the game. That's normally what happens in city builders, isn't it? Unless you're like really meticulous and you just like love every aspect of city builder and you just keep playing. Uh, that's me. I'm the meticulous one. Not really. I'm the death metal guy with the airports. Okay, uh, so we need some power here too. Um, hopefully it's not going to be like a huge draw on the power of Donutsville. I, I don't know if that would be ideal, really. Uh, let's have like some nice power lines that follow the road, realistically. Uh, yeah. Realistic uh, following the road power lines to the industrial area, which should now be hooked up. Excellent. Look, everybody's getting power. The overlays in this game are actually quite nice. Uh, we, it looks like we have a lot of electricity left. Look at that. Uh, consumption is only 4 uh, mega megawatts, I guess. And uh, our production was 7, I believe. 7 here. So it's still producing 7. It's producing 8 now. Look, the wind is really picked up and this thing is just gonna like fly off and just slice through like 20 houses and stuff. It's gonna be crazy. Uh, so here we go. Donutsville. Look at that. Fucking Donutsville is looking nice. Uh, population of 178 people. It's growing by four. Look, people are breeding on a massive scale here. Uh, creating new babies to live in Donutsville and carry on the proud traditions of everybody uh, in this town who is not currently... There's a general store. Uh, there's a neighborhood shop. There's another general store and a quiet corner shop and a general store and a convenience store. Uh, and most of these places look like they're selling burgers. Look at that. This one sells uh, donuts, though, uh, luckily. Nuts. Go nuts, donuts, uh, which is nice. I, I thought it was uh, nuts and smoothies and stuff, but no. And there's a big bite here, too. <laughs> Fucking love the little buildings. Look at all the details. It's really good, isn't it? Look, we got uh, that some sort of, like, look at this car. It's like from the movie Cars, it's like a, like a cartoon car. And of course, we have Yaksu energy drinks with uh, disabled parking too. Very thoughtful, fantastic. And weird disabled parking here, look at this one. It's like, who would use this disabled parking spot? Normally it would be like this one and this one, right? Not like at the end, or maybe I'm wrong about that. I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong. Oh, check it out, look, this fucking gas station here too, dino oil. There we go. Deliveries. And look it. There's the dude. It's the guy that stands outside. Um, oh, no. It's a fire hydrant. I thought it was a guy. Excellent. Holy fuck. Donuts fill is fantastic. Look at that. All right. I think these people are complaining about not having enough workers, uh, which means that we need some more population, which means that we're going to have to expand on um, Donutsville ever so slightly. So, like, I guess we can sort of do that. I mean, I'm quite happy with it as it is. I don't really want to build too much more here because I feel like it's perfect. There's nothing wrong with this city. Uh, there's no fires. There's no police needed. Everything so far is perfect. Uh, but we are going to have to expand it, obviously. We're going to have to get more population. Uh, we're going to have to unlock our next... See, we're a little hamlet right now. Um, I was talking about Blackburn Hamlet. We still, we are like, this is pretty much Blackburn Hamlet. Uh, look it up if you never heard of it. It is really boring and small. Um, but, you know, it's nice. There's like a big bypass um, so that you don't have to go through it now. You can just, like, on the open road, completely skip Blackburn Hamlet and go straight to Ottawa. It's great. Uh, so as soon as we get 550 dudes in Donutsville, uh, we will unlock garbage, healthcare, and education. All stuff that I did on the first video. I'm taking it a bit slower this time because there's a lot more to, like, look at and do and stuff. And it's quite fun. It's quite fun taking it slow and building, like, these little sort of, like, areas. Especially when they're, like, 
sustainable and then once we unlock stuff we'll start building like big fucking skyscrapers and shit on the coast and have like a port and look at all this fucking garbage look at all this pollution going into the water look there's just a big streak of shit out here in the bay which is nice well uh it's not actually nice, but there you go. All right, so uh, we'll be back. Uh, this is episode one. We will be back for episode two, um, probably later in the week, probably in like a day or two, where we will continue building Donutsville. Uh, we will continue building out um, Sipsco Coast and uh, adding more to it, unlocking stuff, and uh, we'll probably pick up the pace a little bit more once we started building stuff, but it's nice to start out kind of slow uh, and small uh, and then build on that. So great. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know if you do. If um, Let me know if you're like really mad that I've started this without waiting for the actual game to come out. Um, I, I, can, I plan on playing this at length um, in my spare time and recording as well. We'll do a nice big long series because we haven't had a city building series forever. And a lot of people want uh, to see another one. And I want to do another one. Uh, and why not do it with this game? Because it so far is fantastic. I really, really do like it. Uh, and it's going to be very exciting when it's actually released and other people can play it and make maps and mods and all sorts of weird and wonderful shit for, uh, for games. Build up the community, all the good stuff uh, to do with uh, great games. So there you go. Excellent. All right. Well, I uh, bid you farewell then from Donutsville and Sipsco Coast uh, for now. Uh, we'll be back next time, like I said, and uh, we'll do some more shit. It'll be awesome. Great. All right. Well, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.